Hello friends, this video on linear inequalities part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's take some problem on inequalities. So in an experiment it says that solution is supposed to be kept in 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. And they are asking us, and they are asking us the range of temperature in Fahrenheit where the formula is this. So it says C is less than 30 but greater than 35. And then they have given the formula. So we will replace the C by 5 by 9 into F minus 32. We will replace the C and what we get is the same thing. Greater than 30, less than 35. We will multiply divide the whole thing by 9 by 5. 9 by 5 because you want to cut 9 by 5 here. Correct? So you cut this 9 by 5, 9 by 5. So what you get here is this becomes 6, this becomes 7. So what you get here is 9 into 6 is 54, it's less than f minus 32, and this is 7 9 and 63. Now let's add 32 both sides, all sides. We can do that, we can add a positive number. So what we get is this become 86, this cuts become f and this become 90, this 763, this becomes 95. So what we get is f is greater than 86 and less than 95. So this is the range of temperature in terms of Fahrenheit for the same solution when the range of temperature in terms of Celsius is 30 to 35. Let's take one more example. Here it says a manufacturer has 600 liters of 12% solution and here in this he want to add x liters of 30% solution so that the acid becomes 15 to 18%. So what he is trying to say is 600 liters of 12% he has and then he has x liter of 30%. He want to add both these and whatever he gets, he want 15 to 18 percent. So we'll represent in a mathematical form. We'll say 12 percent of 600 plus 30 percent of x liter. Then you divide by the whole solution will become 60, 600 plus x because there was a 600 solution already there. On top of that, you are adding x now. Solution becomes 600 plus x. This will become 50 to 18 percent of this will become 50 to 18 percent. Correct because this already been we are getting per, per, in percentage, we are dividing this, or we can say like this also this will become 15 to 18 percent of 600 plus 6. So the total solution is now 600 plus 6. 12% of this plus 30% of this, when you add this, the whole thing should become 15 to 18% of this. To, do, to create this in the mathematical form, what we will raise 12 by 100 into 600 plus 13 by 100 into x. This will say is greater than 15 by 100 into 600 plus x and this is less than 18 by 100 into 600 plus x. So this is the equation we have formed. Please pay attention here. It is crucial here. So what we are saying 12% of 600 plus 30% of x. When you add this, this becomes 15 to 18% of 600 plus x. So you get solution like this. Now you have to solve this. We can divide this by 100. So 100, 100 we can multiply actually. This will go off. Not this. 100 into 100 this will go off. Or we'll, we'll do like something, we'll just divide by 100. This is 600. So now what we get is 15 into 600, that is 9000 plus 15x is greater than 12 into 67200 plus 30x, and this is 18 into 6 is 10800 plus. 18x. So this is the solution we have got. So we have got two solutions here. 
this is solution 1 and this is solution 2. So we'll take this as solution 1. So what we get is 30 minus 15 is equal to 15x. We are taking this side is greater than is greater than 9000 minus 7200 is equal to 1800. So this is the first equation we have got and from this, this and this what we get is 30 minus 18 is equal to 12x sign doesn't change it's less than 100 minus 7200 so what you get is 3600 so this is the second equation we have got so we have got two equation so let me divide by 15 and 15 both side so what we get x is greater than 1800 divided by 15 is 120 and here when we divide by 12 both side so what you get x is less than 3 12 into bar 12 into 3 300 so the, our solution is x is greater than 120 and less than 300 so this is the solution so whatever amount is adding that should be greater than 120 liters and less than 300 liters let me repeat what we have done so there was a 12 percent of 600 liter solution in that we have to add x amount of 30 percent solution and we want the total solution should come around 15 to 18 percent so we have done this in the form of mathematical equation so we got two equation one from this one from this please note we have to find two equation one from this one from this and we solve this equation to get the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online test get the best quality study material study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.